Hello and welcome to the first of our uh, kind of how-to tips uh, videos on Velo Pedal in Colorado. We're, uh, we're going to help you learn a way to uh, know your uh, range of, of the walks. If you're, if you're mobility challenged, one of the important things to know is how far you can walk on a given outing. And so we're going to look at the way that we plan, Timlin and I use, to plan our walks uh, as we go out and uh, do the trail reports for Velo Pedaling Colorado. As I'm uh, uh, described in one of the blog posts on Velo Pedaling Colorado, I talk about mobility challenging uh, walking being a kind of bell-shaped curve. Uh, some folks uh, uh, experience a, a kind of slow deterioration from normal walking to um, needing some assistance. Uh, those would be on the kind of the right-hand side of the bell-shaped curve here. But uh, a lot of folks like uh, myself um, find themselves, unfortunately, on the left side of the bell-shaped curve, which is uh, the uh, kind of the victims of, of more severe uh, mobility challenged uh, disabilities, in my case, a spinal cord injury, uh, which um, virtually ended my uh, normal uh, life ability and ability to be mobile. Um, so the important thing is know your uh, range of your walks and how to plan accordingly. So to do that, um, I use uh, the iPad and iPhone. Um, there are similar kinds of apps um, that are available um, uh, on Android and, and whatnot. Uh, I use one called GPS Tracks. Uh, it's a, a free app available and it runs extremely well on uh, the, I use the iPhone when we're out walking to actually capture the tracks of our walks. But then I use the iPad version um, to, to uh, develop the trail reports and uh, the uh, uh, various visuals that, that uh, we use on Velo Pedal in Colorado. Um, it's an excellent um, app, and, and I'll show you some of the ways that, um, that we use it uh, to do our Velo Pedal in Colorado uh, walks. I'm going to start up GPS tracks and where we do our our first uh, outings is our homes over here and uh, this is the Metzger Farm open space and if I bring up the tracks I can show you that um, the ones, the trail reports that you've seen so far at Velo Pedal in Colorado uh, the first one we did was the the uh, pond loop. Um, then we walked up and did the Lowell Boulevard uh, leg. And then we walked down from a, a parking place on 124th Street and walked down and back on this, um, the, where the old windmill uh, is along on that track. And then we kind of uh, filled out this... Uh, major loop area by doing a walk across the leg that goes 124th Avenue. So when you see the coverage that we've done so far of this primary open space, you can see that there's a, a leg here that is the longest of anything uh, in the area that, w that we want to uh, walk on. And so the question is, geez, um, how, how long is that compared to the uh, ones that we've done so far? And uh, that'll give us some indications of how to plan for this next walk. So let me turn off the tracks that, that are there and, and put this away. And I'll show you a feature of GPS tracks that we use to plan a walk. And to do that, I bring up the map menu. And what we want to do is measure the map. And, and 
since I know, we one of the things that, that we've blogged about is how to n- uh, figure out what the range of your walks are. We know that at this point, the upper limit of, of my uh, walk is around a half a mile. So I'm going to uh, put the this, the units in, in miles. And the mode is how you can uh, make measurements on the map. I could drop pins, uh, I could freehand draw with my uh, finger, or the one that I, uh, and those are kind of hard for me because of the limited mobility I have of accuracy of my finger uh, touch uh, screen use. I use the center, which you see that little uh, crosshair in the very middle. By tapping anywhere on the screen, what it does is drop a pin exactly at that that uh, kind of uh, uh, crosshair. Uh, and the measurement that we want to do is not an area, but a distance. So we're going to do a distance measured in miles, and I'm going to use the center uh, uh, drop uh, pin pointing area. I know there's a place that we can pull off and park right about here. So I'm going to start by dropping a pin there. And go down to where the intersection is. There's a there's a park bench about there. And this doesn't have to be super duper accurate. But the closer you get to following the path, the more accurate the measurement will be. And so we're going to walk down this kind of interested to know what that is, some kind of little building or maybe a seating structure. I don't know. We'll find out on our walk. But I just move the crosshair along and pop pins along the way. And what I want to do is figure out how far is it going to be for us to walk that loop and be able to take a rest at the picnic table kiosk here at the pond area. So there, I've now got a trail uh, mark, and I know that uh, the distance is uh, just over half a mile, 0.56 miles, and that is uh, the distance that we'll be walking um, when we do this next trail report. So having a, a pre-planning uh, trail report uh, is an essential uh, first step in planning an outing. What we know from, from that is that uh, if I were to uh, uh, walk that distance, um, I'd be hard-pressed to uh, walk all the way back. We could go up through the, the uh, old Bill Pond um, route back to the car. But what we'll probably do is uh, I'll take a rest at the picnic table area while Timlin scoots back up the old uh, windmill route and uh, and gets the car and she'll uh, kind of drive back around to the parking lot and then uh, pick me up and we'll walk uh, back along the, the, the pond to the parking lots uh, so that we have a good uh, long outing for me, but uh, don't push it a bridge too far because that's one of the things we're learning about uh, uh, our, our activities in Velo Pedaling, Colorado. So you have to make sure that when you plan to go out and uh, push yourself in rehab for uh, doing mobility challenge walking, um, that you don't bite off a uh, uh, an expectation that's, uh, you know, uh, puts you into a compromised situation of, oh, my, 
my how do I get home from here. So that's our next, uh, that's the route we're going to do on our next outing. And, uh, and I hope uh, that you find uh, some use in knowing this technique of how you can measure before you go out on a walk, how you can figure out uh, how to uh, plan ahead and uh, have fun when you go out and do your own uh, mobility challenge rehab walking. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you out on the trail. Bye for now.